What's up, YouTube? My name is Jeans, back with some more ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, if you find yourself enjoying the content, make sure you show it by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. So guys, in today's video, we are actually rocking out with this Duraludon team. I, I'm actually very hyped to use this Duraludon team, considering I love Duraludon. I love his design. When I first saw him in this game, I was like, dude, this guy's a beast, and I want to learn him. He is so cool. But rocking out in our front spot is this Draco Fish. He's actually Life Orb with Fish just ran, as always, because that move is OP. And especially with that Life Orb, we can do even more. He's also a Strong Jaw. That is his ability. So Crunch will do more damage. Then we have Dragon Rush and Protect, because Protect is awesome in double battles. Then we have this Light Clay in Teleon. And what the Light Clay actually allows us to do is extend the turns of Reflex, Reflex and Light Screens. Sorry about that. <laughs> but Reflex and Light Screens are usually five turns but with light clay we can actually boost it to seven or eight i'm not too sure which one it is i'm gonna say it's eight but it could be seven then we got this ludicolo rocking swift swim right here with a citrus berry we're actually not rocking him with the Pelipper, so we're gonna have to set our own rain with the dynamax he's rocking fake out focus blast giga's rain and scald right here then we got the core Knight rocking the main moveset roost tailwind iron head and brave bird but he has leftovers and mirror armor same thing just a normal core Knight. it's just so good in double battles especially with that moveset and all these items and his abilities then we got a silvali right here rocking chewy scarf with a versatile moveset of parting shot shadow ball thunderbolt and heat wave so silvali is awesome he's awesome i actually haven't showed him all on this channel yet so i'm actually hyped to show him off but chewy scarf we can just boost his speed for one move that's why his uh moves are so versatile with shadow ball thunderball always does work and heat wave can hit both opponents which is nice then pokemon i'm most excited for is this duraldon rocking assault vest can soak up some special attack hits with that assault vest rocking draco meteor dark pulse actually get some flinches off flash cannon and thunderbolt thunderbolt is just such a good move always in every single pokemon game but guys if you'd like to use this team for yourself Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. I did not make this team, but I will leave a link in the description to the creator of this team. And also, guys, let me know for question of the day. What is the next EV evolution you would like to see? For me, I would like to see Dragon and Poison. I think they would be such a cool design for an EV. But, guys, without further ado, let's get on with this video. Here we go. Hopping into battle number one. This guy is rocking a Dragapult, Corviknight, Weezing, Glaring, Weezing, Arcanine, Whimscott, and a Milotic. This guy already picked this team. Jeez, it only took him like 10 seconds. But with all this going on, who are we going to actually lead? I want to lead that Inteleon, potentially set up the Light Screens or the Reflex, which would be nice. Because I can see him leading that Whimsicott or that Milotic. So we actually might go into our... Do we go into our Sil Valley? I think Sil Valley would be good. We could choose Scarf him and do some work on that Whimsicott with the Heat Wave. I can see him going in maybe with that Milotic and the what's it called? Do we go in with that Inteleon? I want that Ludicola. I think we're going to roll in with the Inteleon, Sil Valley in the front spot. And they're going with the Ludicolo and the what's it called in the back end. And the Duraludon. I think that would be the play call. Hmm. Because Silvali can do some work with that Heat Wave. Or we have we cover Water, Grass. And Duraludon can cover up that Dragon over there. His Dragapult. Okay. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Let's get rolling with that and see how it does. We got that Choice Scarf in that front spot. So we can always outspeed. We'll probably go for a Heat Wave. Because I know he's going to go for that one Scott and try to Tailwind up. Or do we counter his Tailwind with our Tailwind? Hmm. Let's just go with that. Let's just go with that and see how we can pull out. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, make sure you go in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. It is tons of fun. If I'm live, come hang out. If not, hit that follow button and swing by later. We stream four plus days every single week. It is dope. It is a lot of fun. We have been shiny hunting and we've been on a good roll. We just found a Grookey, which video is live if you haven't checked that out yet. Make sure you go check that out. That shiny hunting Grookey. Hit that like button over there. And we found a shiny Sabo. But he does lead that win, Scott. Like I said, this is why I did lead that. What's it called? Wait, I thought we led Sil Valley. I thought we led Sil Valley. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, whatever. We're actually just going to start off with a Reflex. So this Dragon Bolt doesn't do too much work on us. Unless he is rocking or we'll try to set up both. We'll try to set up both. But I'm kind of mad. I'm kind of mad. We're just going to fake out this Wimscott. Not let him get off that Tailwind. Then we're going to swap out into our Sil Valley. Like, bruh, I thought I led my Sil Valley. Like, get out of my face. Get out of my face. I could set up a rain, but now nah, we're chilling. We're chilling. Whip. Let's go knock that off. U turn's gonna pop off here. Do a little bit of damage to us. Oh, we eat that up, dude. Thank God we didn't die from that. But we do have a berry. Our citrus berry is gonna pop off here. Bring us up to about 60, I think. Let's see how much. Yeah, about 60, like I said. Wow, dude, that did some work. But we can set up this light screen. So the moon blast that, that's gonna come in from that Wimscott. But he's gonna go for that tailwind, which is gonna be tough. We might swap out that Ludicolo and go into that Sil Valley. Oh, shiny Corviknight. Yo, look at that thing. It has like a nice gold tint. I think that looks cool. I, I want a shiny hump for that Rookadee. Rookadee is dope. Like I said, it has that little... What's it called? That little gold tint. 
but we're gonna set up this reflect right here that's fine that's fine let's actually go into a let's go into an icy wind here on this wind sky and then we'll roll into a do we go into a scald or we can go back we could go back or we could just lead uh keep ludicolo in here focus by so we go into focus blast i said we go into a focus blast and we try to do some work on this corviknight I said we try to do some work on this Corvette. It is 120 base damage, but only 70 accuracy. So, geez, he's going to Dynamax this Corvette out here. Corvo is going to get the Dynamax. Wow, walk into some max air streams. Try to get those speed boosts right off the bat, which I'm kind of fine with. I'm kind of fine with it. Because if we can rock out into that Silt Valley, we will be Choice Scarf. We will outspeed, no problem. We get some heat waves off, max flare, set droughts, all that good stuff. But he's going to go into max air streams on me, and the other one's going to set up a Tailwind. There we go. Look at that. Like I said, dude, it's simple. We just read these guys all day. But it's tough to really, like, do things with them. So, you know, Icy Wind's gonna pop out here. Doing some nice work on that one, Scott. And then, I think... Do we outspeed that Corvo? Hopefully, we can outspeed that Corvo Knight. Let's see what happens. Oh, we dropped both their speeds. That's beautiful. That is beautiful, actually. Max Airstream's gonna bring it back to normal. Take out our Ludicolo. Which is no big deal. I'm not too worried. We're gonna come in here. Dynamax our... What's it called? We're gonna go Dynamax our Sil Valley here. So he's just using physical attack moves, so our Reflect is just sitting up here. And we're going to try to boot, uh, lower their speed again with the Icy Wind from that Italian. Oh, what did he just set off? What is that? Oh, it's Leftovers. I was like, dude. I was like, we didn't hit him for a weakness policy. I was getting scared there. I was getting scared there. But, ooh. T-Bolt can do some work. Do we go with the Duraludon? We could go with the Duraludon and save him. Ooh, we. And Dynamax our Duraludon? Ooh, we. We could do that. Let's do it. Because Steel would be super effective, too. The Whimsicott. And what's it called? But he does have that fairy move, so we're gonna try to set up a light screen. We are gonna try to set up a light screen here. Protect this a little bit. We are assault vested, but that would just help us out even more. And go into this uh, max lightning here. Let's set up this max lightning going down in this Corviknight here. Doing some work. Not bad, not bad. Let's go, dude. I love Dynamax and Duraludon. He just looks so cool. And his Gigantamax form looks sick too, but you can't rock it. I don't think you can rock those in ranked battles. I think only in like the tournament modes and all that. He just looks so sick. He turns to like a skyscraper. But dude, I just love him in big size. Like his hands just look awesome. They're like little, like, I don't know, like pentagons, like inverted or something. It's weird, but it looks cool. Let's see how we're gonna roll out. Energy ball's gonna pop out from this woman's guy. Can we eat this up? Eat it up, buddy. That a boy in Teleon. Now we can set up this light screen, which is nice. Get a free little light screen off here. Yeah. Now we have a reflect and the light screen popping off, so. That Wimscott can do nothing on us. Max Airstream's gonna come out here onto our Inteleon. Eat it up, buddy. Mm, does not eat it up. So we're gonna get that Sil Valley out here and start. I think we're gonna start doing some work. Dropping some heat waves and all that good stuff. Cause we're Do we drop a heat wave? I don't know what we're gonna Dynamax into. I gotta think. I gotta see what his next Pokemon. Hopefully we can take out this Corvo here. That'd be nice, but I don't think we are. Do it. Nope. Not taking out the Corvo. So yeah, we are definitely gonna go into the heat wave here. Double hit up the Corvo Knight and the Whimsicott. So that, that's our plan. We're down two Pokemon, but we have this electric current going off. He has leftovers. This thing's a tank. An absolute tank right here. Getting scared of it. I'm getting scared of it. But Silvalli's so gonna come out here, drop the heat wave, do some work. We could potentially take out that Whimsicott, but we have this screen set up, so we can soak up some shots. I wish we did have like a tailwind set up. But here we go. Heat wave. We're gonna twist scarf into our heat wave and then go into a another max lightning. We're gonna try to get this Corviknight out the way. We have the uh the electric current running through. Oh, you hunk of junk, man. You hunk of junk. Wimscott's gonna get this leech seed off. Oh, Duraldon avoid it, but we get this free heat wave off, which is nice. So we can do some work. We actually didn't take damage this round. But we do we take out that Wimscott? Oh, almost take out that Wims. Almost take out the Wims. Max Lightning's gonna get neglected here from the Max Guard. But we will be able to pop off into another Max Lightning here. Get a heat wave off. Take out that Wimscott. So we're chilling. We're not doing bad. We're not doing bad. We should be able to take out the Corviknight here with the Max Lightning. And then it'll go down to probably a 2v2. Let's go. Let's get it. So Heat Wave. Bang. We could potentially get burns on him too. Max Lightning. Or do we raise our defense? No. We got to take out this Corvo. Corvo's got to go. He's an absolute beast. I can see him potentially like iron defensing or something. Or maybe trying to set off another Tailwind before he goes. Let's see. Leech Seed's going to pop out here. Oh my. Duraldon, man. That is That was a smart move before he goes out. Corviknight's going to go with Iron Head. We will eat that up. No problem, no problem. And then we're going to roll out into a heat wave, do some damage on both these guys, and then the Max Lightning will take out that Corviknight. Okay, so 2v2. We're down to the 2v2 action. And this, I think the Leech Seed goes away, so the Leech Seed doesn't even matter, right? Because we took out that Wimscott who it was on, and the Max Lightning's going to take out this Corvo. Beautiful. We got that burn on him, too, but it's okay. We're chilling. I think we're sitting pretty here. Is that a 2v2? Or did we kill one of his Pokemon yet? 
No, we did not. Tailwind does peter out, which is huge. So now they don't have Tailwind. Any Pokemon to even set up another Tailwind because their Whimsicott's gone and their Quivernite's gone. But that is our last turn for that Dynamax. He has a Weezing. Glaring Weezing, who's... I think their defense is through the roof. Yes, their defense is through the roof. So luckily we are special attacking right now. We have Shadow Ball on our Sil Valley. And we're truly Scarf. Oh, no, we cannot send that. We cannot send that. Dang it, man. That would have been nice. That would have been nice to actually send that on that Dragapult. But we're going to go into a Heat Wave because we have to. And then we're going to rock out into a... Do we rock out into a Dark Pulse? Or a Flash Cannon? I think Flash Cannon could take out... I would rather get that... Who would I rather get out the way? That Dragapult, right? I'd rather get out that Dragapult. So we're actually going to rock out into... What do we rock out into a Draco Meteor? That could be... Oh, dude, we have so many options here. But this will... Harshly lower our special attack. I said we just go into a Dark Pulse here. I think we can take him out with that Dark Pulse. I think the Heat Wave will take him down a little bit. So Heat Wave's gonna come out here. Show me some burns, baby. Show me some burns. Give me some burns. Come on, show it. Yes, dude. Let's go. Dragon Pulse on the burn. Phantom Force is gonna pop out here. Smart play by him. Smart play by him. Who do I think he's gonna go after, though? I could protect with my Silvali. I could protect with my Silvali. Toxic's gonna come off. Jeez, man. Do we protect with the Silvali? I said we just... I say we do. I say we do protect. I'm thinking he's going to go after us. But we have to do some work on these guys. We are still Leech Seeded. Jeez, man. Leech Seed did not pop off. I thought it pops off when we kill the Pokemon who sends it out. But it's all good, dude. This is a close match. Our Duraludon can win this match. He's going to go for another Toxic. So I'm thinking of maybe going for a... Just going straight after that Weezing here. I'm thinking of going straight after that Weezing. And just sending in another Heat Wave. To get some more damage. Potentially get that Burn. And go straight for the Flash Cannon on this thing. On this Weezing. Because it's uh, special defense isn't too good. So Weezing's... Oh my lord, dude. Smart Weezing goes for a protect. What a play by him. And Heat Wave's going to come out here and do nothing. We're going to do nothing to this whole match. I'm surprised that what's it called comes out here. Oh, no, no. We will... No, we will not get a shot on him. But he hits my Duraludon, which is fine. Actually, why would I protect when I know Phantom Force hits through? Okay, so we're going to do that same thing. We got to get that Weezing out of the way. We cannot afford to get a Poison on us. So, Leech Seed comes out again. This is a close one, guys. This is actually a really close battle right here. Go in the distance. Poison's going to come out here. This is, mm, this is tough. Poison is tough. But Heat Wave's going to come out here. The burn does tick a little bit more. We're going to try to get that burn on that Weezing once again. The Electric Current disappeared from the battlefield. Okay. 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 I'm not... I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling fine. Let's go here. Bang. Let's go. Flash Cannon onto that Weezing. We cannot try... Hopefully, we can take him out here. Hopefully, we can take him out. Let's see. Heat Wave comes out. Yeet. Yeah. Do a little bit more damage to these Pokemon. And come on. Phantom Force is going to pop out. That's fine by me. Who are you going to hit? We are going to soak it up. But hopefully our Duraludon can actually take out this uh, Weezing here. Come on. Do it, Duraludon. Special attack, Flash Cannon. Do it. Let's go. Let's get it, guys. That's what I wanted. That is what I wanted. Duraludon coming up big here. Coming up big. Poison is going to take away a little bit. Who's he going to go after is the real question. I don't want to go for a Draco Meteor. Actually... Oh, I reflect war off. Oh, no. Okay. What are we going to do? We're just going to go for a heat wave. We're just going to go for a heat wave. That's the only thing we can do with him because he is choice scarf. And then what are we going to go into from here? Dark Pulse? Yeah, Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse is going to pop off here. Because we will go second there. Sylvia is going to miss. Because he outspeeds with that Phantom Force. Phantom Force is strong or the best play. Can we eat that up? Okay, we do eat that up. So we kind of have to take out here. Come on. Do it. Do it, Duraludon. Be MVP today. Do it, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Duraludon. He is sick, dude. Coming up clutch for us. Same thing with that Sil Valley. Both of them did work. Let's get it, guys. First match. Get that W. Let's get it, guys. Hopping into battle number two. This guy's rocking T-Tar, Corviknight, Rotom, Wash, Mimikyu. Oh, I haven't seen a Mimikyu in a little bit. Especially since it started playing doubles. You, don't, you see less and less Mimikyus in doubles. He's more of a single Pokemon. Arcanine and a Gastrodon. Okay. Okay. Probably our Ludicolo is going to come in here. I think Ludicolo would be nice. Do we bring in our Draco Fish? We could go Draco Fish. Draco Fish could be very, very nice here with that Fish's Ren. It does work on a decent amount of his Pokemon. So we're going to go with, with our Life Orb Draco Fish. We're not going to start off with him. We're not going to lead him. He's going to be reeling in the, the back. He's going to be in the back. Duraldon's also going to be in the back because Duraldon is so good. Has such a versatile moveset, like I said. Do we? I think we're going to have to bring in that Ludicolo. Do we go Ludicolo and Corviknight in that front spot? We could do that. Ludicolo, Kuvernite in the front spot. Then rocking up the back, we can have Duraludon Dracofish. Because Kuvernite, we can set up that Tailwind. 
And Ludicolo does work on a decent amount of his Pokemon. On his Arcanine, his Gastrodon, his Titar, and his Rotom Wash. Okay, that, that sounds like the plan. That sounds like the plan. And if he doesn't lead that Arcanine, we, we can always uh, hard swap out into our Draco Fish to eat up a Fire move. And then Duraludon in the back, because Duraludon just showed you guys why he is so good. That move set on him, and he is a special attacker, does some work. And we have the Assault Vest on him, which is beautiful, Assault Vest. We can soak up the special attack. But I was glad I actually went for that Weezing. The reason I did go for that Weezing right off the bat is I knew his defense was high. And we were a special attacker. And I thought maybe we could take him out in one hit. Just get him out of the way and save, like, instead of him toxicing me. Because if he would have toxic my Duraldon, he would have went down after the Dragon Ball hit me with the Phantom Force. Because we were down to 30. So then Toxic would have took us out. We probably would have lost that match. But since I actually took him out, it was a good play. But here we go, Corviknight and Ludicolo are gonna rock out in the front spot. Wow, dude, he plays really good. He's gonna go for probably a Sword Stance over there. Well, we have Iron Head, but we I wanna get this Tailwind rolling. I wanna get the Tailwind rolling on our team. And then what do I wanna go with here? Oh, we're gonna fake out the... Uh, oh, it has no effect on him, that hunk of junk. We're actually gonna fake out the uh, Corvo. We're gonna fake out the Corviknight here to try to not let him get his Tailwind off. And then we can kinda just start teeing off on that Mimikyu. I wonder if my Ludicolo, I gotta see if my Ludicolo outspeeds by what's it called? My Corviknight. Because if he does, we can get a first hit on Mimikyu, knock off this guy's, and then go for an Iron. Whoa, wow, Shadow Claw pops off. I thought this thing was rocking out on a what's it called? Oh, it is Life Orb. It is Life Orb. We're gonna eat our berry right here. But I thought that Mimikyu was gonna rock out with his Sword Stance. But I gotta check out our speeds here. Because I would love for my Corviknight to actually hit second and take out that Mimikyu with an Iron Head. There you go. His Corviknight's probably gonna set up another, go for another Tails win. So, we're chilling. Let's check out the speed. Let's check out the speed. Okay, so speed 99. Ludicolo is at 91. Ooh, so Corviknight is going to hit first. So, what are we going to do here? How are we going to rock out here? I say we still take it off. I still, I say we still take it off here. And we rock out into a Skull. I say we rock out into a Skull. Try to get a burn on this Mimikyu. We are going to outspeed. Is he going to Dino? He is going to Dino. Who's he Dino? His Mimikyu. It's got to be. His Life Orb Mimikyu. That's fine. We're rocking the Draco Fish in the back. And I can always Dynamax at the Rowdown, because Draco Fish doesn't really need a Dynamax. Oh, he's going for Corvo! Ooh, wee! Corvo's gonna try to get some max air streams off here. Boosting their speed. That's fine. We have the Tailwind up. So we're chilling, we're chilling. Let's go into here. He's gonna probably take out my Ludi Cole here. Iron Head's gonna pop out here. You take off that disguise. I thought it said it was super effective. Why didn't it make the super effective sound? <laughs> disguise was busted. Okay, Ludicolo, get in there. Throw a few shots on him. Scald him. Get that burn on him. Show me that burn, buddy. Show me that burn. Come on. Woo! Ew wee! Ew wee, guys. Come on. Come on, we get that nice little burn on him. We're gonna eat up that Shadow Claw, and then the Max Airstream is gonna come off on our, what's it called? On our Ludicolo. Take him out, which is fine. Which is fine. My, what's it called? My Corviknight will take out that Mimikyu next turn. We, we will outspeed that Mimikyu. Because we have that Tailwind. I don't care about their boost plus one speed. Tailwind OP, baby. Now, who are we going to rock into? We got to get that Corviknight out the way. We got to get that Corviknight out the way. So, I'm thinking of maybe just rocking out until the round on doesn't do too, too much damage on him. But the burn does come off here. Okay, okay. Who are we going to go with? Do we go Draco Fish here? Just go for Fish's friends. Life Orb Draco Fish. Can do some work. Because all he's going to do is rock max airstreams. That's the only thing he's going to do. And then we can save our what's called... Our Duraludon. We can save our Duraludon and potentially Dynamax him. But our Corviknight will take out that, that what's it called? That Mimikyu. Or do I let the burn do it? No, I say we just get it out the way. I say we just get it out the way. And then we go straight for a Fish's Rent. I would love to get that rain set up, but it's fine. We're going to go for the Fish's Rent. Can we outspeed? Can we outspeed with this Tailwind? That would be huge to do more damage on him. Yes, we do outspeed. Yay. Oh, <laughs> Yo, did some me damage. Did some me damage on him. Play Ralph's gonna pop off here. Oh my, Draco Fish. That is super effective, but we do eat it up. That's fine. What is he gonna do now? The Life Orb will actually take him out. I wish we didn't hit him. I wish we went after that Corvo. But hopefully the Corvo goes after our, our Corvo. Let's see actually what happens. Because that would be huge. That would be huge. Because our Draco Fish will outspeed and be able to take out that Corvo next turn. Max Airstream comes out. Who's it on? Who's it on? Show my Corvo. Oh no, he takes out my Draco Fish, man. Okay, okay. I don't think we're sitting too, too bad. Was that his third shot? I think we're fine. We still have our Dynamax. His Mimikyu's out the way. His Corviknight's almost done. And our Corviknight's sitting at full health again. So Draco Fish did some work. Like, one fish is random. You see how much damage that did? Like, are you kidding me? And we have we are Assault Vested. We are Assault Vested. So hopefully he throws out a Special Attacker. Because my Corviknight and Thraldon will eat up both these shots right here. We'll eat up this Max Airstream from him. I can see him going into a Max Guard. So I might not even, like... Go after that Corviknight. I might not even go after that Corviknight. 
Because I might read it and say he's going into a Max Garden. Hmm. What's the play? It actually depends what Pokemon he throws out. Because I don't want to waste a turn. I don't really want to waste a turn too much. So who's he going to send out here? He's going to send out a T-Tar. Which we can go into a Max Airstream. Or not a Max Air Airstream. A Max... What's it called? Oh, we're going to double up on this thing. We're doubling up on this uh, guy. We're going into... No, no, no. You're not getting the Dynamax, buddy. You stay. How long into our uh, Tailwind's going? We have one more turn with our Tailwind. So do we roost here? Do we roost here? I think we can just take out that... That T-Tar. No problem. Let's go fight Iron Head. I mean, we can roost next turn if we have to. He sets out the Sandstorm. And then we're just going to go straight into a Dynamax Max Steel Spike. Boost our defense here, which is nice. And we should be able to take out this T-Tar, I think. With two, two steel hits here, I think we should be able to take out the T-Tar. And I think this, hopefully this Corvette cool goes for that Max Guard. Hopefully he goes for that Max Guard, because we can just Max Lightning him next turn. Set off another Tailwind. That thing is decently fast, but I think we're chilling. I think we're fine. Let's go with the Rallathon. The Rallathon. Let's go, buddy. Dude, absolute beast, dude. I'm loving him. I'm loving him so much. Okay. So now, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We are going to go first with the Max Steel Spike. Dude, Tailwind's so good. Tailwind's so good. How much damage are we going to do? Take him out. Okay, beautiful. Iron Head's going to clean him out. We should outspeed that thing with our Iron Head. So we're fine. And our defense is going to ra raise, so we're going to eat up some shots. So T-Tar is out the way. T-Tar is out the way. Hopefully... Oh, but that Corvette Knight did not go for a Max Guard. Which is fine. Which is fine. He's just going to go for a Max Airstream. Boost his speed. We'll Max Lightning next turn and go for a Tailwind. So we're sitting fine. We're sitting fine. Max Airstream going out on my Corvo or Duralda on Corvo. <laughs> Bruh. Eat that up. Eat that up. Okay, no problem. No problem. That, I don't even think that thing's rocking leftovers, but it's probably rocking roost. He might go into a roost next turn. Our leftovers kind of like just took up that shot for him. He kind of only did a, enough to take off our leftovers. But our Tailwind does peter out. The Sandstorm's going to do damage on all our Pokemon right here. Who's his last Pokemon? Because I think it's down to a 2v2 and we're sitting pretty. I think we're sitting pretty here. Who is it? Gastrodon. We cannot hit him with a lightning move, which I still think we're fine. I still think we're fine. Uh, do we go to an Iron Head here? Iron Head is not very effective there. We can go into a Brave Bird. Our Tailwind did peter out, I believe. Let me check. Let me make sure our Tailwind petered out. Because if it didn't, that would be just a waste of a move. So let's see. Do we need another Tailwind? We do need another Tailwind. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to boost our speed. Tailwind off. And then we're going to go into a Max Lightning over on this Cool Knight. And probably take him out here. I'll probably take him out. These guys hype me up the crowd with this song, man. <laughs> Just jam out. I'm having a good time with this team. I'm actually loving this team. The Rallodon's awesome, dude. I haven't even used them too much, but I'm loving them in double battles. We're just, uh, he's like our little, our sweeper pick right here. He's doing work. He's doing work. Okay, come on. Can this guy make a move? I already know what he's probably going to do. He's probably going to try to maybe roost up with his Corviknight. And he's going to go for a Skull try to get a burn. Let's see. See, there's the roost. Like I said, roost going to pop off here. That's fine. We're going to get this Tailwind and be able to outspeed next turn. So you are done for. You are done for. Unless we can just knock him out here. Max Lightning comes out here. He's lucky our Tailwind did Peter out. How much damage are we going to do? I don't think we're going to kill him. Yeah, we didn't kill him. That's fine. But Electric Terrain comes out. Electric terrain. Was that not super effective? I didn't hear the super effective sound. Yeah, wait. Why was that super effective? I thought it is. But our tailwind's gonna come out here. We will outspeed next turn. And an earth power is gonna come out here. Like, why would you go at like dude? That's like common Pokemon sense right there. Ground moves is not hit flying moves. <laughs> common sense. Unless you have mold breaker on. But this iron head, um I think we're just gonna go for an iron head here. Try to take out this guy. Try to take out that Corvo. We have the, uh, the what's it called rolling here. We should outspeed. We have the Tailwind and we have the Electric Current. So, hopefully this Max Lightning can take him out. Because I think this, uh, Corvo is just going to go for another Roost. Try to stall out. I think he's going to try to stall out. So, we're going to double up moves on him. His Corvo is going to Tailwind. Mmm, smart play there. Hopefully we can take him out here. And we're still going to outspeed. Gastron is a very, very slow Pokemon. Come on, take him out. Take him out. Come on, show it to me. Show it to me! Electric Current coming up clutch! Let's go. Let's get it, guys. That is going to be the game. That is going to wrap it up here. It's gonna wrap it up here. We're gonna get a free Iron Head. Hopefully make him flinch. Just to rub it in his face. Let's see what happens. He flinch. No, nope. Goes for an Ice Beam. We'll eat that up. No problem. No problem. Nom, 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 nom. Woo! Leftovers come out. Guys, and that is the game. That is the game. That is the game. Rocking out here, dude. Absolutely crushing these battles. And these are very good battles, too. 
They're not like I'm just like sweeping them or something. I'm actually playing this out very well, very well. Like I know I'm going down in the beginning, but like I'm planning that. Like I'm letting him use his Dynamax. You can take out them Pokemon. I have these picks in the back end that can do some work. Like you're leaving me with a, dy a free Dynamax to Raladon. Like dude, get out my face. We're gonna go Brave Bird, and then what are we gonna go into? Dark Pulse or Draco Meteor? Let's go into a Dark Pulse. Just play it safe. I don't want to go into a Draco Meteor, lower our special attack, and potentially put us in a bad situation. So we're just gonna play it safe. I'll usually only use a uh, Draco Meteor as like a last ditch effort kind of if I need to one tap. Like I need to one tap. Dude, Draco Meteor does pop out here. But Brave Bird comes out here. This won't take him out. His defense is pretty good. But we will do some work and be able to take him out next turn. Let's see. Unless he's rocking recover. Let's see. No, Earth Power. Okay, I was gonna say, are you going after my Corbinet again with Earth Power? <gasps> wow. Wow. That was scary. That was scary. <laughs> but still, we're chilling. We will outspeed. Another Brave Bird will take it out. And same thing with the Dark Pulse, I think. We'll, uh, Dark Pulse will take it out. Let's go. Brave Bird. Brave Bird into Draco Meteor. Just to rub it in his face here. Watch, we're going to miss and screw ourselves over here. He's going to protect. Go ahead, man. Just trying to leftovers up. That's fine. Stalling this match out a little bit longer, dude. <laughs> we have leftovers too, so you're just helping us out. And you don't have too many moves that can take us out. You don't have too many moves that can take us out. The, sub the Sandstorm does subside. And we will get another turn here. <laughs> so the buffets won't really do much to us. I think protect should protect you from like uh, sandstorm buffets and like ice storm or uh, hail buffets. I think that should be a thing. Like that extra damage can do that to you. Who's tailwind? Was that our tailwind petered out? Wow. I don't know how we're going to do this. That thing cannot outspeed us. There's no way. There's no way it outspeeds us. We're just going to go. Maybe I should have went for a dark pulse because if we miss this, let's see. He goes for earth power. He's going to take out my Duraludon. Oh no. Oh no, this is closer than I expected. Come on, Brave Burn. Come on, Brave Burn. He played that kind of smart. Wait for a tailwind then. Brave Burn, take him out here. Come on, buddy. Yeet. Take him out. Let's go. Let's go. I was getting a little worried there. I was getting a little worried there. But we played that match very, very well. And we got the victory, which is awesome. Which is awesome. I'm surprised he didn't go for the rally down with the Earth Power off the bat. That probably could have maybe gave him the win. Third and final battle coming at you guys. This guy's rocking that scrafty. Draco Fish, Ndidi, Dragapult, Ludicolo, and a Corviknight. I can see him leading that Ndidi. I think that Ndidi is going to pop out here. Which I'm not too worried about. Who are we going to lead? Who are we going to lead? Are we going to bring our Inteleon here? Or are we going to try to set up a Tailwind? I think Tailwind could be very, very nice. I think Tailwind. I think we're going to rock out with our Corvo, Inteleon in the front spot. So Corvo, Inteleon. And then go with our Duraludon definitely in the back. Duraludon is such a good Pokemon. Can do absolute work. Especially against that Corviknight and that... Who else can you do work against that Dragapult? Okay. Okay. I'm feeling it. Now let's go Sil Valley. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's go bang. Inteleon in front to set up that light clay. Well, not the light clay. The reflect and the light screen, which is beautiful. So I'm like this. I think he's going to go in DD, maybe Scrafty, in DD, Corviknight. I think he's going to go in DD, Corviknight. Go for a follow me. We're going to try to set up a Tailwind here. And I think he's going to try to set up a Tailwind. We're just going to counteract each other. Because I don't want him getting that Tailwind advantage on me and just running me. And just running me. That's not happening. That's not happening, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's see. Let's see what he does. In DD Corvette, like I said, just, I'm just reading. Big brain plays here. Big brain plays. Okay, so what are we going to set up here? Second search is going to come out here. So we're going to set up that light screen. We're going to set up that light screen early on. We should be able to outspeed. She might go for a follow me. So Tailwind's going to pop out here. Maybe she can waste a turn with a follow me, which would be nice. What just popped off? Oh, he's going Psychic Siege. His special defense is going up. So we're going to need a physical attack. I don't think we brought one. Except for our Corviknight. So let's go with the Tailwind. Tailwind comes out here. And then the Light Screen. The reason I am going for the Light Screen is the Corviknight doesn't really hit too, too much. And they have the Psychic Surge, and I don't want the Psychic just running our team. Because this thing could be Choice Spec. It could be Choice Spec, which I'm maybe thinking. Because we did use a Choice Spec in DD in Double Battles before, and she rocked out. So let's get this Light Screen off. We will outspeed her. They're not running a Trick Room. Let's go. Inteleon will be the fastest one on the field. Hopefully she just goes for a follow me. Unless she is choice spec. This is what I'm thinking. She's going to go for a follow me unless, unless she's choice scar. Or choice specs. So if she doesn't go for a follow me, I know she's choice spec. Which could be dangerous. Which could be dangerous and we got to get her out the way. But like I said, I want to get this light screen off the bat. He's going to Dynamax. Who's he Dynamaxing? Who are you Dynamaxing, buddy? Probably that Corviknight trying to get some free uh, max airstreams off on us. But this tail, yeah, this tailwind will counteract a lot of that. 
Tailwind will counteract a lot of that, so I might want to go into a Sil Valley soon. I might just want to go into a Sil Valley, or we can probably bully up on that what's it called? On the what's it called? The Indeedy. Okay, so this thing isn't choice spec. Goes for a follow me, which is fine. We're using two moves to just kind of get everything out the way. But we went for the light screen just in case, and now we go into the reflect afterwards, which is fine. Which is fine. Let's get this tailwind popping off here, buddy. Max Airstream's gonna pop out here. All my Inteleon probably. Yeah, Inteleon will eat that up. And we should be able, we should set up a reflect after this. We should set up a reflect after this. Speed's gonna go up. Tailwind's gonna go up. And then we can go into our Silvali. And probably just go for a Max Flare. What, what, what do I think it's the call is? Do we Dynamax our Silvali and go into a Max Flare? This Tailwind is gonna pop off here. Uh, let's just go for an Iron Head on this EDD. Potentially make it flinch. And then go into a Reflect here. Set that up. Get that rolling. But dude, Light Clay is so good, man. I love how it just extends those turns. Like that couple, two, three turns is huge. It is huge. It is huge. Well, what you want, boo? What you want? Go ahead. Go for another Max Airstream. Boost your speed. We have that Tailwind. We have that Tailwind, and you're not doing anything up against my Corvo. Italian's going to get off that Reflect. He's going to go first. Which is beautiful. Corvo going to get off that Iron Head, which is fine. Didi's going to go Psychic. We'll eat that up with the Light Screen. Oh, my God, dude. That was so close. I think we might have almost survived on one HP. That was close, but the Iron Head pops off here. We'll do a little bit of damage to this Indeedee. And then we're going to pop out with our Sobali, I think, here. Because we... Oh, look at that. Eat that up. No problem. No problem. I think we do go into the Sobali, and we rock into a... What's it called? We rock into a Max Flare. Or do we set up... She has one more turn. Let's go into our Duraludon. Let's go into our Duraludon here. I think Duraludon would be the play. And just go into Max Lightnings. Because we have that Assault Vest on him for that Indeedee. And we go into a Max Lightning, set that up. And just save our Silvalli for the back. Considering he used Choice Scarf, we kind of just want to save him for his speed advantage with the Choice Scarf. So we can save him for the end, kind of just to outspeed somebody and take him out. So like I said, let's go into an Iron Head. And then we can pro possibly Tailwind next turn. Let's see. I oh, know we have two more turns. Look at everything on the field. Two. Look, dude, it is eight turns. Seven turns left for the Reflect. The Psychic Terrain, I'm not too worried about. Light Screen, not too worried about. Or no, Light Screen, I love it. We have light screen. And then we're just going to go into a max lightning on the Corviknight. On the Corviknight. Because this first one won't kill him, but the second one will consider him. We'll get that electric terrain out, and he's going to drop down in size. Because this is his third and final turn, so we are just getting started here. We're out playing him here. Use my Inteleon perfectly. I don't, I don't mind my Inteleon went out. He got off his light screen and reflect. Both of them, that's all I wanted from him. That is all I wanted from my Inteleon. That's why he is like clay. That is his job. Set that up. Are you gonna go for follow me? That's fine by me. It's fine by me. You wanna die in Didi? And Didi wants to die, guys. Max Airstream's gonna pop out. Go after her. Who are you going after? Do we eat that up? Do we eat that up? Ref reflect is coming up huge. It's coming up huge here. Didi's speed does raise, which is fine. And Didi is now dead. Bye bye, Didi. Oh, we get the... Oh, I, it looked like it was... Oh, it did go after the Corviknight. Follow me doesn't chase after that. Okay, that's cool. Or the follow me doesn't take away Dynamax moves. That's nice. That's good to know. Now we get that electric terrain set up. And we're going to go into an Iron Head. Yay. Take him out. Get a crit. Come on, buddy. Get that leftover suit. We eating up. We eating up. Hey, this Corviknight's going to drop in size. And I think we're going to go for another Tailwind here. Because we are full health back on our Corviknight. And jeez, man. We eating up out here. Let's see. Let's see Tailwind. One more turn with the Tailwind. Okay. 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 We're going to go for another Iron Head. Take out this Pokemon. And then we're just going to go for yet another Max Lightning here on that Corviknight. Potentially take him out. I hope we can take him out with this Electric Terrain and that drop in size. Corviknight's going to protect. We're going to hit through that, which is fine. So Corviknight just did a bad play, kind of. Heal Pull. Smart play. Smart play. But Corviknight protected himself. Wait, what? Oh, she couldn't heal pulse him because Corviknight protected himself. That is actually hilarious. <laughs> but then soak up a decent amount. Iron Head's going to take out that Indeedee. Indeedee, gone. Nice. So now this next Pokemon that's going to come out is rather slow. And our leftover is going to pop up. Put us up to full health, I think. Yep, we were only one HP away. And we can set up another Tailwind for next turn. Tailwind peters out. It petered out. Who's he going to roll into? Because right now we still have our Tree Star Sil Valley in the back. Which is why I went out into my Duraludon. I'd rather have that Silver Alley in the back, especially because it's Choice Scarf. Like I said, it's always good to have that extra speed in the back end. Like, say you just need to get that first hit. Say you just need that first hit to win the game. A lot of games come down to it. Like, you gotta outspeed. You gotta do this. 
Silvalli can do it. Silvalli can do it. He has strong moves. His attack's pretty solid. Well, his special attack's pretty solid. But he's gonna go into a huh, who, what? What is that? Ooh! Draco fish comes out. Shiny Draco fish. Ooh! Ooh, we! Okay. Um, what are we gonna go for here? Tailwind, like I said. Tailwind comes out. Max Lightning. Is this super effective against that Duraludon? Or not that Duraludon. I say we take this out. Hmm. I say we take him out. We gotta take out this uh, Draco fish. He's gonna do some work on us. Kuronite's gonna go for an Iron Head. Do we eat that up? No problem. He's gonna try to make us flinch here. I think that was his plan. Fish's friend's gonna come out here. Who are you going after? My Corvo? Eat it up, buddy. Eat it up. Thank you, Corvo. Now I need you to take him out here, buddy. Max Wormley, like, take him out. I need you. I need him going. I need him going. Let's go. Let's go. Now we can roost up next turn. Hopefully we get this tailwind off. Mirror armor's gonna pop off here. That's fine by us. We can drop our attack. We don't need it. We are a special attacker. We are a special attacker. Tailwind comes off here. We can roost up next turn. We are sitting pretty, dude. Sitting pretty. Duraludon's just running this for us. I love you, Duraludon. We will outspeed. We might not outspeed. But we can soak up a shot from that uh, Corp Knight. No, all day. All day we can. So I'm just going to go into a Roost and a T-Bolt. Roost and T-Bolt sounds wonderful. Because I, I want to get off another... Ooh. Where do we go for that Dragon Bolt? How many turns are left in our... What's it called? How many turns are left in our... In our Reflex and all that? Let's see. Oh, four and three. Oh, my lord. Light Clay and Teleon is the best. Let's go into a Roost here. Let's roost up. Roost up. And then do we go into a Dark Pulse or a Draco Meteor? Because I'm not worried about the Corbin Knight. Corbin Knight's not doing too much damage to us. We can just outplay him later. We go into a Dark Pulse here. Could we make Target Flange or do we just take him out with the Draco Meteor? I say we just go into a Dark Pulse. I say we just go into a Dark Pulse. We should outspeed with that Tailwind. Corbin Knight goes with the Iron Head. This one will hit us. Do we eat that up all day, buddy? All day! Dragon Pulse going to go with the Shadow Ball. Wow, Dragon Pulse outspeed us even with that tail. Let's see what happens here. Eat it up, buddy. Come on, take him out here. He is Life Orb. That's why I did a little bit decent damage. But Dragon Pulse, Dark Pulse is going to come out here. Can we take him out here? Oh, so close, so close. Roost is going to come out here. We should be able to eat up some shots here. We're chilling. We're sitting pretty. We're sitting pretty. We still have our True Scarf Skill Valley in the back, and we are back up to full health here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Almost full health. Just about. Just about. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Um, What are we going to rock out here? I say we go into an Iron Head on this Dragapult, take him out with that, and then we go into a T-Bolt over on that Corp Knight. Considering we still have that Electric Terrain going, we can get a little bit more of a boosted Electric Attack. Before we roll out, before our Duraludon goes out, because I can see our Duraludon potentially going out here. I'm surprised they both outspeed us. Iron Head's going to come out here. Oh, on our, oh, on our Corp Knight. Try to, try to flinch him. Try to flinch him here. Dragapult's going to go for a Shadow Ball. We should eat this up, right? We should eat this up. Eat it up, buddy. Oh, we like to see. That's what we like to see. Oh, Dragapult takes his own self out. He takes his own self out. So I'm fine with the, what's it called? Even if the Corbin Knight flinches. T-Bolt gonna come out here. Electric Terrain takes him out. Dude, that's gonna be the game. Don't even need Sil Valley. We don't even need Sil Valley. That's the game, baby. Let's get it, guys. What a game. What a game. Absolutely dominate with this team. I'm loving this team. Duraldon is so good. Guys, I think I said this about the last team that we used. But this team is now my new favorite team I use in double battles. Hands down. Hands down. I love everything about it. I love the move sets on all the Pokemons. I just love all the Pokemon in this team. Like, it, we can always start off with that Inteleon. Drop that Reflect and Light Screen with a Light Clay. Last eight turns. Like, come on. That's like the whole match. Then we have that Corp Knight. We can set up Tailwinds. We have that Draco Fish Life Room. Does some work with the Fishes, right? Ludi Colo is always nice. We can start off with a Fake Out. He is a... Great move set there, and he's a special attacker. Sil Valley, like, come on, dude. Choice Scarf, Sil Valley does some work. And do I need to say anything about that, Theraldon? I just proved it to you guys why he is an absolute beast. But here's one last look at this team. If you'd like to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. I highly recommend using this team. You can probably push a lot of tears with it. But guys, let me know for question of the day, what type of EV evolution do you want next? But that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, make sure you smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.